Get it. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, my name is Georgia, also known as G Daniels Fitness. I am leaving today to go to the Arnold. It's in Birmingham, UK for a couple days with Young LA. I am so freaking excited. Um, but I thought I'd make a first video just like what I'm packing, how I'm traveling, a little travel day. Um, I'll kind of just vlog me getting there because I feel like I'm always finding new tips and tricks about how to make prep traveling possible. Even this time, like most preps, I have not minded like traveling at all. I loved it. I, did, I loved being lean and traveling and just doing all the shoots. I loved it. This is the first time where I'm like, I don't know how I did that. I don't want to leave my house. That was such a, like, I don't know how I traveled so much in last preps. So this one, there's no fucking up. Like there's nothing. We are going to do everything 110% for this trip. Um, this might be the only trip I do on prep. We'll see. Um, and I just want to keep everything as much as normal with my body, with my routine, with my digestion and everything with flying. So I leave this evening. I'm going to show you how I'm packing my food for today and for travel days. And then we'll kind of go over my suitcase and what I'm bringing, what I'm packing. And that'll help me double check as well that I brought everything. I want to show you all food first, um, just because, so I'm leaving tonight and doing it overnight. I will let you know how that goes. I don't know if that's the best decision or like worst decision. I think it's going to be best for me to just like sleep on the plane, but, um, and I can knock on a plane. So we're going to see, but, um, that makes it so I'm going to eat all of my meals before I get on my flight, which I do think is going to be great. We get there like, I don't know, eight. So I did just go ahead and make my last two meals for the day, just so I had, um, a meal like that was on the way to the airport. And then I'm going to have one when I'm like sitting at the, um, at the gate because it's an overnight. I get there tomorrow at 11 a.m. UK time. So it'll be a seven hour flight. So I'm packing all of my meals we made like together for tomorrow. Now this is just gonna make it so like, even if I am, anything happens like delayed flights, it takes me a while to get to my Airbnb. There's nothing that's keeping me oh, like from hitting my meals tomorrow. Now, all of my stays, the Airbnbs all have stoves and kitchens and everything like that. I am bringing a lot of food with me, but it is gonna make it so if I like emergency need to get anything from the grocery store or will go to the grocery store, um, I can get everything I need there. So, and I'll have a stove and I can cook, etc. So meals for tomorrow, I actually switched my meal plan even simpler. Like we're not doing egg whites or anything. We're not doing like, we're keeping everything so simple. It is four bags of measurements, some with rice, but most of them are literally just chicken and egg and green beans. Some have chicken and rice and green beans. So see how it's just like literally four bags and some just chicken and beans, okay? Um, I'm gonna freeze these for a couple hours and I'm just gonna add some seasonings and probably some hot sauce just on top to mix together. I might have to eat it cold, which is why I'm putting it all in there cooked. Um, it, it would be nice to find a microwave, but you never know. Now, what we're bringing with me for the weekend, food-wise, rice cakes. We're keeping because we carb cycle right now i just want to keep my meal plan exactly the same except added rice cakes for the days that i am um, eating higher carb normally i would have a second bowl of cream of rice on those days but keeping it nice and simple meals are the exact same every day just added rice cakes food scale i'm gonna bring my uh cream of rice with me just because i don't know if, i don't know just making sure i have some rice and then the powders that i need so i'm bringing protein powder some digest aid, some fiber supplements, some pump, because <laughs> I don't want to bring the whole tub, and I'm putting all that in my checked bag. And then when it comes to the meats and things like that, I am just bringing the like frozen solid trifecta pool chicken that I use for all of my meals. We are preparing for the best case scenario, but if worst case, we have to grocery shop. I'm gonna go shop either way. If I have to grocery shop and rebuy meat, I'll be fine. So, but I'll save a lot of money, a lot of time if I already have my meat and it's most accurate that way. Now this is the fun part, packing the makeup and everything. I actually did go to Sephora and buy a couple new things because I was like, I use it as an excuse. I was like, first I need like, I did it on my face today. So you can see what it looks like. I wanted like a simple, makeup routine that I could wear every single day to the Arnold, wear it to the gym. Like I just wanted very, very, very simple. 
So I'm gonna show y'all what I got. So for the stuff I got yesterday, I got just like a tinted SPF. This is the brand I got in the shade one, S-A-I-E slip tint. I tried it in there and I've heard lots of good things. And because I love them, I literally got so much from them. I, <laughs> I got a lip gloss and the blush, the liquid blush. This is in Cutie. And this one, the lip gloss is in Kiss. And it was just all amazing. It just, it looks great. Then um, other stuff just for like this normal natural stuff. I got the Forever Skin Correct Dior Concealer. I got this because Peyton, the figure girl, if you know who that is, she showed it in her YouTube video. And she's like, honestly, no one cares. They do care. I care. And I went and bought it immediately when you talked about it. Um, I love it. She said someone used it for a photo shoot for her. And I went and tried it out. And yeah. I love it. Uh, it's hard to find concealer. I feel like that doesn't crease and you can wear to the gym. And I wore this to the gym today and it was great. So this is, that's what we're doing. So of course we're going to bring a beauty blender. I'm going to bring um, mascara and then my normal, where is she? Oh no, I got a new brow thing. I kind of switch between brow pencils, but I'm getting, using the Anastasia Brow Wiz this time. So we're going to pack all of that. I'm bringing a lot of hair ties, some hair clips, things like that. But I did grab a couple, oh, let me see, anything else makeup wise? Let me show that first. I'm bringing my sample of powder and I'm gonna bring a bronzer, which I've had a fucking other, the Hula one. And I'm trying to see if there's anything else I wanted to bring, but I really am just trying to keep it as simple as possible. I'm gonna bring a, um, eyeshadow brush or eyeshadow just because I feel like I might want to wear that out to dinner one night and then here it is the Sephora blush I really love this blush it's in heated 16 but I think that is going to be everything I bring actually I'm trading my bronzers I'm going to use the Anastasia bronzer bronzer I forgot I had that one so this is the bronzer in saddle that I normally wear it looks like that I have a um spray tan on right now and she's slaying so i feel like i've been able to do less makeup and look like put together but brushes i'm bringing a blush brush a powder brush and honestly probably like a singular eyeshadow brush in the sense of skincare body care i tend to just go ahead and like say fuck it and get sample sizes of everything because i hate like if it's oh, i hate bringing full size things of everything i just don't like it so i am getting makeup wipes i usually hate makeup wipes but we're going to deal with it for this trip I got a sample size of the superfood cleanser and then I got I love this toner I usually use like the squirt one but we got a sample size of the toner it's the I think it's toner 28 everybody uses this I don't know and then I got a retinol like this I have a different retinol normally but I ran out yesterday so I was like we'll try the inky list today so seeing if this one's cheaper, so we'll try this one. So I'm definitely bringing a retinol. I love my retinols. And then I always love this um, this moisturizer, so I was going to get the sample size of it to bring with me, and it's the Honey Halo. So that's all the skincare I'm going to bring. I might, might, these are like my go-to ones I normally wear. I might bring them, but it's the Glow Recipe Blur Drops, the Glow Recipe Firming Serum, and the CEO Sunny Riley um, Vitamin C Brightening Serum. I might bring those. These are in my normal like day to day. I don't feel like it's necessarily need when you're traveling, but it would be nice to bring it if I have enough room in my little bag. We'll see. Perfume, I have a tiny, tiny bit left, but I have this Zara perfume that's Supreme Vanilla. And I was like, because there's so little left, I'm like, okay, let's finish it off on this trip. And then last things, we're literally almost out of that dry shampoo. Last things, we're gonna bring dry shampoo my brush don't look at all the hair in it <laughs> body wash i just got sample sizes of the olay and then i got sample sizes of Ola oh. sample sizes of olaplex <laughs> good thing my toothbrush has that little guard thing on it i'm gonna bring my toothbrush and my friend she, that's coming with me she's bringing toothpaste so i'm just gonna use her toothpaste eh. oh, god my legs are so sore okay toothbrush but I think that is all um, besides my, I'm going to bring like my spray. It's okay to have spray in a check bag, right? Uh, no. Yeah, a check bag is fine. No, I carry on. Okay, I'm going to bring my spray deodorant. You can have like anything in a, car in a check bag. It just bag. smells so good, bro. Okay. 
can have anything? Basically, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. That's everything for my face. I'm going to show you all my little hair stuff really quickly. Um, I'm going to bring the wow, wow sample, the extra coat, like, load. What do you even call this? It's like an anti-frizz thing, but it's like a blow drying thing. And then I'm going to bring my Dyson. My friend's bringing a flat iron, so I'm just going to bring my Dyson. Ah, my God. With one attachment. Um, not this one. I'm going to show y'all. You know, as a man, I see this. I see you say, I want to bring minimalist. This is so minimal. I know. It's just a shock, it's a shock okay. to the male system. I know. I can't compute all this. I know, I know. It's <laughs> like a lot, but I promise it's like quite little. All the girls are going to be like, wow, Georgia, you really packed light. Because it's all going to fit in such a like, small bag, I feel like. Okay. okay. Um, I'm going to show you all the last couple things that I'm going to be bringing. Uh, I bring my little like hair clips to do my hair with, but attachments for my Dyson. I'm just bringing like oh my god, all hair on that. I'm just bringing the blowout attachment in the hair dryer kind of attachment, and then I've been doing a lot of gel like back looks. So I'm trying to find a small container that I can put like a small empty container I can put some gel in. And I'm gonna figure it out, but I'm gonna bring some gel because I already know like one or two of the days I'm gonna gel back my hair. It's just. It's good right now because, you know what I mean? Anyways, we're going to gel back my hair and I'm bringing back like a little slick back brush. But I've been doing like a low bun slick back quite a lot. I like it after you had a long day at the Arnold. I feel like I don't want to slick back, go to the gym, whatever. So this is everything that I'm bringing. But there is no but. I'm almost bringing this. Um, this is my detangle spray in a sample size. Yeah, there's no but. I'm bringing a lot, kind of. Does that feel like a lot? Okay, maybe it's not a lot for, like... I don't think it's like, a lot. I think that's kind of simple. I feel like we've really stuck to the basics here. I mean, to be honest, right, like, as a guy, I'm just like, all I right. I refuse to be there razor. and, like, be, say I wish I brought something. If you're bringing a check bag, like, just bring it. Yeah. As a guy, my mind just goes, razor, check. Deodorant, check. Toothbrush and toothpaste, check. All right, we're good. And cologne. So real. But, you know. But also this is like an event, so. I wanted to show y'all now what's in my suitcase. This is gonna be a funny one because I'm literally just gonna sit here on my floor and un unpack to repack my suitcase. Now, this is just so I'm like super organized. But my suitcase is right here. This is what we're kind of looking like. No judgment because you're on my floor. I'm gonna show y'all kind of what we're packing, what we're bringing, and we'll go from there. So I have this little travel jewelry box. I don't know where this came from, but this is where all my jewelry is in. Um, that's not important. Now, in the sense of prep, I'm bringing a travel weight scale. One thing is 100% sure though, double check to make sure your current scale and your travel weight scale are, are weighing you in the same. I'm actually weighing in a pound different, like exactly. So at least I'll know the difference and I can tell Brandon that. But this is what I'm bringing there. And then in the sense of check like prep things that I need my heels are in here and my check-in bikini and I am checking in as normal now extras I feel like it's gonna seem like I have a lot of extras but it's all with a purpose I feel like I did really good at packing my clothes this time I brought a lot of outfits I brought one to go to like a musical we might go to a musical one for a dinner one to go out to like a bar if I want to go out and then two like normal outfits and then I'm bringing my leather jacket as my jacket, heels, and new balances. Um, I feel like I did really good with staying simple with those outfits. I did bring a lot of workout clothes, but I mainly did this because um, my friend is coming with me to the Arnold, and she's not like a bodybuilder like that, but she's going to be at the Young LA booth with us the entire time, and I want her to have outfits to match me. So I brought like double the amount of outfits because of workout clothes because I wanted her to be able to wear Young LA too. Now, I brought one workout set, I mean, um, like, sweat set, sweatpants, cozy, like, shirt, and um, zip up. And this is just, like, if I want, like, a cozy day, you always have one cozy day outfit. And I'm bringing this shirt just in case I want to do anything for St. Patrick's Day. I think all that is pretty straightforward. Now, um, for our Sunday night dinner, I have a cute little outfit set from Skims, my pajamas. And this is my travel back home outfit. It's a skim set, too. Raw underwear, socks, and then this whole container right here 
is entirely all of the outfits that we are uh, wearing at the Arnold itself, which is super, super cool. So I feel like I did really well. I'm so excited. The package for the um, like travel accessories here. I don't can't pronounce the name. It's B-E-I-S. Vice, I think it is. And I'm really excited. Okay, let's do a haul. First thing, everything's teal. I let you, I probably saw my secrets earlier. It's like a darker teal. So they make, this is called Slate, by the way, on the website. The darker teal of my suitcases, I feel like matches this super well, but it's from TJ Maxx. So I was like, I'll get a lighter teal. So they match, but if I, if those ones ever break, I'll just get the matching suitcases to the accessories I got. Does that make sense? Anyways, first thing I got was, what is this called? All in one sling. Let's open this up. It's basically just a fanny pack, but I honestly needed this. Well, did I need it? No. Did I want it? Yes. Um, for my passport and stuff. And look how adorable this is going to be today. Um, did I pay for like the two day, dish day shipping? Yes, because I was putting off. I didn't think I was like gonna get it, but I've been wanting it for so long, so I said fuck it. How cute! Oh my god. Okay, I'm wearing like four different shades of blue, but I feel like it still matches. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Let me. Don't care. It's fine. Um, the inside on this side is like a suede. And the reason I mainly got it was because they have. Where is it? There's a way to pull out a water bottle holder. So you can put your bottle, your water here. And it's on the side. I don't know. I saw that and I was like, that's what I need. Because I'm always carrying around like a Diet Coke or something from the plane. Um, yeah, anyways, I don't know. This is just really cute. Next thing I got was I got two different organizers. This one is called... First, look at this. This is beautiful. This one is called the DOP kit, D-O-P-P -P kit. Um, this one is for like shampoo, conditioner, and things like that. Um, next, I got, this is the cosmetic case. This is what I was gonna put all of like my shampoo and conditioner and everything. Not shampoo and conditioner, my makeup in today. I liked it because it has a mirror that comes with it. But like, look at this. It comes with a little thing in there for brushes it has a little mirror that comes with it i feel like this is just amazing for traveling definitely worth the price i know it's not the cheapest it's definitely like more of an investment piece but i travel so much not even like flying but like i drive a lot home to visit my parents because they don't live like they live a couple hours away so if i visit i have to leave for like the weekend last thing i wanted to show you i got one more thing which this is the most important part of everything god she's big Everything okay, thank god I didn't get the large one. Okay, so this is called the mini weekender. There's a normal weekender. The normal weekender looked like this size. I did not realize this was gonna be this big, but we slay. Um, you can use it as a personal item because it like still kind of looks like a purse, but it can fit over like the handle bar like of your um suitcase so really easy to travel around with i think my problem is, is i always bring like my backpack a satchel my suitcase and i'm buckling around three bags and i was like it would be amazing to just have a fanny pack and then this on top of my suitcase like so convenient like she's big i probably will actually put all my meals in here hopefully they don't take them but I feel like hopefully it's cold enough in okay this is the reason everybody usually puts their food in their carry or in their checked bag because it's colder in the back of the plane but like how much colder could it really be you know like i think we just tell ourselves that but i feel like it's not as cold as we're thinking and then there's like an area at the bottom so this is what i was thinking okay this is what i was thinking it looks like a lunchbox like low key so in the bottom part i was gonna put all my frozen chicken just together in here how iconic. I feel like it'll be like an ice box down there. And then I'll put like my um, rice cakes and stuff in here and my meals for today in here. That feels so iconic to me. I feel like this is gonna work out really, really well. And then I think we get a free carry-on, so, but I'm not bringing a carry-on. I feel like that counts as a personal item. So just in case it is too big to be a um, 
a personal item, it's okay. It'll come with my carry-on. This feels awesome. Okay, so perfect timing. It's 6.44. I was just working, finishing all my check-ins and stuff, and I downloaded like 20 podcasts on my phone, no joke, because a lot of them, like the mainly like the fitness podcasts, um, a lot of them are like 20 to 30 minutes. Also, don't judge me. I know I talked about last video that I stopped drinking Diet Coke. I think I was just really anxious. Um, it's not hurting my stomach anymore. Don't ask me how I found out because I was supposed to stop drinking them. It doesn't hurt my stomach anymore, so it doesn't matter, okay? Anyways, I am so hype about this. Parse is going to be so excited. Like, okay, let me give you a close-up look. I'm not doing a good haul for you. It's like the quality is insane. That's, that's it. And it does have a, uh, a strap so you could wear it like as a, I don't know where it goes though. Oh, here. So you can wear it like over your shoulder properly. Okay. Let's pack her up. So I have normal headphones, but I bought the loop. I got the ads. Okay. TikTok ads are literally for me. Um, I got the loop noise canceling headphones. Um, so that if I didn't want to listen to music, I could still like have noise cancel. Okay. Hand sanitizer, wallet with some cash, chopstick. There's like a little pocket in here. I'm going to put these all in. Okay. Right. Book. Okay. I shouldn't bring a book and I bring a pen. Um, I'm, oh, Hey, I'm vlogging. Um, then I do bring my planner literally everywhere I go because it actually saves my life. I, my life would fall apart without it. So I'm going to put that in here. Okay, of course I have to show you this. This is the bag that came in. It's called the Weekender. But, mm. okay, let me show you this. this you're going to think this is so iconic. So my frozen chicken, look. Perfect. That's perfect. That's you put so your meals perfect. In there. It's so perfect. And then it's like an icebox kind of down there. Oh, yeah. Do you, th you don't think it'll seep through? It, it feels like water resistant. But I don't it, think it'll get my laptop If you put it away. in this bottom compartment down there, it should be isolated yeah, enough. Right? Yeah. That's what I think so, too. Yeah. It's pretty good. Okay. That's not really right. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It's a comic. Okay. Last things. We're gonna keep this on the side, but I will hook it. I don't know. Portable charger. I charged her all up because I am so on top of my shit. <laughs> so portable charger, I'll stick this in here. Passport's gonna go my other thing. Um, I do have the like cube. So if I need to plug it into a wall, my battery char um, portable charger dies. Let's hope I can even get on the plane because I have an emergency passport right now. I, I don't know a passport, but everything on Google, nothing. Okay, y'all remember, I don't know if I vlogged about this, but I lost my um, passport when I was in, well, lost in Prague, but I got a new passport when I was in Budapest. And guess what? They gave me an emergency one and I got it slapped on the wrist because I've lost a passport before. So I had to keep this one for three months, which means I only just now could get a new passport and I smell good. Um, anyways, I have a passport that's like not like a, there's countries I can't go into with this. So let's just hope I can get on the plane is what I'm trying to say. Um, first of all, look. Cool. Cute. I love it. Like, Matches the fit and everything. It matches and everything. Such a good look. Thank you. So we're gonna put my passport, look. Right there, you won't lose it. I won't lose it, there's literally no way. I'm actually gonna put like my hand sanitizer and stuff in here. Hand sanitizer and wallet, yep. Dude, this is so iconic. Yeah, I'll keep this stuff in here. My like, my little things. Okay, guys, it's working out, it's working out, okay. Oh, this is so cute, look at me. Look at you, look at the aesthetic. Look at that. Okay, so this is what we're looking like inside. We have our planner, our laptop, and our portable charger. Now we're gonna put our um, makeup and stuff in our other bag. That was cute. I said, we, I said bye to Alfie. He doesn't even know what's going on. Me having shoes on in general is the saddest day of his life, but little does he know it's gonna be for a week and not 30 minutes. Bye. Him and I are gonna hold down the fort. Boys week. Boys week. Boys, boys week. Of course, has spring break this week, week, so he's hanging week. out with Elf. So he'll be fine. Um, okay, we are all packed up. I. 
this is what we're looking like. I put my rice cakes in here, my meats in the bottom. This is what I meant, what I said it like goes over the um, handle. And then I have my little neck pillow. Looks good. Um, I am just going to wear this leather jacket though because it was way too big for my suitcase. This is the only coat I'm bringing, so there we go. That look good. Looks great. There you go. Okay, we've made it in the airport. I was really worried about my, first my bag being overweight, but for some reason it was 30 pounds. I feel like it was fake because the girl in front of me, hers was 30 pounds too when it was way smaller. Anyways, I feel like it was definitely over and the scale was broken, but it's fine. Um, my passport was fine. I did make it through. Um, no questions asked. That was amazing. I was really scared, but we made it. And um, yeah, all my food got through security. So everything was perfect. And literally the security line was like two minutes. There was no line. So I got in here literally three hours early. And I was probably at my gate like two and a half hours early. My friend is about to be here and it is about, she, she just texted that she parked. And it's like an hour and a half before boarding. So it seems like we're all good to go an hour, yeah, an hour and a half before we take off. So I'm really excited. I'm sitting right here. I ate my last meal on the way here and I'm kind of snacking on this meal because I'm kind of hungry. Um, normally I have my last meal around like, it's 9.30 right now. <clears throat> Usually I have my last meal like early, like latest nine. And so I'm like quite hungry because I've been pushing off this meal. I'm gonna eat this one kind of slow, but I did go ahead and buy some water. It's so funny because Brandon literally texted me and he was like, do not forget to get water. And I just sent him a picture of my water and I was like, I am so goaded. Um, I already got a bunch of water, so I got two. I'm gonna go get one or two more. It's really easy to be dehydrated on the flight and I don't want my scale weight to show low because I'm dehydrated from flying and I also think about digestion, everything like that. We want water as high as possible. So I'm gonna have one liter an hour on the flight. Oh my God. That's what you're supposed to do, but that's wild. Anyways, he said have at least three or four liters he said at least three or four um so i'm gonna grab four bottles and if i need to refill it i will oh, this one was just gifting me socks <laughs> amelia's here but you're supposed to wear compression socks when you're flying mainly on prep but i guess flying in general i was gonna order a pair because brandon said i should be wearing them and I didn't order a pair because I'm stupid. Anyways, Amelia just ha literally pulls up her flare leggings and has them on, has compression socks on. She had a second pair with her. Who brings two pairs of the compression socks? Here, compression socks. Yay. What are those, oranges? Yeah, they're from Clove. Okay. It's like an orange mm -hmm. creamsicle pattern. Let me show the other one. <laughs> nice. Okay, we're about to land. Um, I'm pulling out my meal one. I'm gonna adjust to the meal timing here. It's like 10 a.m., but I'm gonna start eating my meals around like obviously my 9, 10 in London. Oh my God, was I starving? Cause I literally pretty much stayed awake the whole time. I could not sleep. So I would sleep for like an hour, maybe like 30, 45 minutes. And then I would wake up for like an hour, 45 minutes for a like, what was a seven hour flight? So I was hungry. Like usually you sleep to kind of like forget that you're a little bit hungry. No. So, and I drank four liters, I think three actually, three or four liters of water. And so I peed like 20 million times, but I'm feeling hydrated. And yeah, so I'm getting out my meal one. This is literally, it's still cold too. Oh yeah. She, she made it. Um, it's literally just like 110 grams of pulled chicken with green beans in here and some seasoning. And I'm gonna put it into my, my Tupperware. Okay guys, we made it. We finally checked in and look at this little kitchenette that we have. Literally, it's basically a full kitchen. We have a um, fridge, I'm about to put all my food in, a microwave, even a little hot like stove pot. Um, there is pots and pans, which is great. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. We're unpacking the couple food items I did bring with me. And then we'll probably run to the grocery store and get some coffee because your girl, I'm starving. I did have, I haven't had any carbs yet today just because I was like scared anything could mess up and I wanted to save my carbs if needed. Um, I did have another like meal, Ziploc bag meal. Um, 
it was chicken and vegetables with an egg this, that time. <laughs> um, but everything is cold. I know y'all were curious. It's still cold. We did it. Yay! A sound effect. Um, but I'm going to put my last two meals for the day in the fridge. We're going to have cream of rice to end the day today. And I'm just going to stick all my meat in the fridge. Um, and this will be my meat for the week. But we're going to go grocery shopping. I'm hoping that we can find like, something within walking distance. Hello. Look, feel the bag. Okay, wait. Is so it still not cold? Wet. Like a, li a wait, little bit. Stop. Like feel it. It's like definitely not bad. No, but it's like not even defrosted. Yeah, really. it's not fully defrosted. That's so really good. It could not have gone smoother. I was thinking that, so before coming, I was just really stressed about bringing all this stuff and packing all this stuff and preparing. And Parsa was like, you're just like my mom. You stress so much to make sure you have everything. But when you get there, you're going to be overjoyed that you made it happen and made it work. And it's definitely true. Like, I feel like everything worked out as it should. And yeah, like we've been on our shit, we've been on plan. Um, I don't have to lift today, I do have to do cardio, but they do have a cardio, um, like small tiny gym downstairs, so I can at least do the elliptical, so I'm not worried about that. Cardio should be easy, and, why is it zooming in? Oh, I don't know. Um, and there's a gym literally like a block from here. So I'm really positive I'm gonna be able to get everything that wise box checked. And I think I'm gonna be really excited to lift with some of my friends like Kayla and things like that that are gonna be here that I don't normally see. I think I'm gonna make it work. Um, I uh, unpacked a little bit. If y'all wanna see the outfit to the next couple of days since I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog every day. Um, but it's just really cute. We're all gonna have matching like little sets. This is the teal um, set with like a black bodycon jacket. We're wearing like a blue set. It's like sports bra and um, leggings and a jacket over it. And then they even, look at this jacket. That is so cute. And then we're wearing um, black leggings and just like a black t-shirt under it for the day. And we just kind of like, yeah. We got, we hung up all of our outfits. I don't know, this is the most put together I've been um, getting somewhere like literally ever. Um, so I'm very excited. We're gonna go to the grocery store really quickly. I'll show what we grab for the week. We made a little list on uh, the plane and then we'll unpack it and that'll end today's vlog. Okay, we're at the grocery store and we're looking at all the zero calorie drinks. This one's will, 60. But, but this water eat. right here is so addicting. It looks so good. Oh no, it's 40 calories, wow. Oh, I didn't know that. Anyways, the flavored waters are really, really addicting. It didn't really matter last time because I was on a prep last time, but they always have a bunch of fun flavors. Like here's the no sugar lime Pepsis. Wow, the calories are so much more accurate. Not to be like psycho. Yeah. Three no, calories. No. This one says this one's 34 calories per. Wow, mango. Okay, miles. this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a mango no sugar Pepsi. We're gonna so try that. Oh. Okay, look at this. Look. look how cute the label is. It's a lemon is there a sugar hoop cola. That's lemon too. That's so cute, okay. I'm gonna show y'all some of the fun things that I see in here. I'm definitely gonna grab energy drinks and stuff because I'm gonna be exhausted this weekend with the time difference and I refuse to be attacked by jet lag. I like the chocolates. Nothing fun. <laughs> they have a lot of like chocolates and things, for sure. Okay, I don't think I've seen a bottle of zero sugar watermelon Fanta. We might try that later this week. I don't know. Um, there's lots of options. Lots of options. But look what this Dr. Pepper Zero looks like. Why does the logo look like that? The logos look different. 1.9 calories. It's so accurate, man. Dr. Pepper Zero. So can we take a moment for the prices? I feel like that's really good. Okay, I'm gonna get some raspberries. I'm telling Amelia how addicting these are. Oh, I can't open. Oh, look, these things. 20 grams of protein. I'm about to run someone over. That looks so good. I want to buy that. This is what I was looking for. I needed the sugar-free of these. Okay. Yeah, and they're three calories. One portion, eight calories for this whole thing. Okay. <laughs> We're stocking up. Um, there's a summer fruit. I feel like my favorite was... Oh, it's an apple. Okay, wait one second. These are the options we have here. 
Okay, so normally I get those like little stevia, even tablets or like stevia powder, um, just to sweeten my sugar or sweeten my coffees when I'm going around and getting black coffee. But would it be really psycho if I got a little small thing of sugar-free syrup, um, syrup for my coffee? I feel like no, if I just got this. Because I was getting a, um, a little bit of an almond milk. I'm just gonna put like the almond milk and um, sugar-free syrup into a cup and then I'll bring it with me to the coffee shop. Coffee shop. I think I'm gonna do that instead of getting because it's salted caramel and that sounds amazing. So I'm gonna do that instead because it's a pretty small container. I feel like that would be fine instead of getting like a to-go stevia. But nothing can keep me away from a dark chocolate pool. The only thing is, I don't know if I should get just like the Tesco brand or if I should get this one. It's a greens and blacks brand. They don't, they have the lint, but not in 85%. Which one, which dark chocolate should I get? Ooh, I don't know, they're both good. What percent is this one? They're both 85%, they're the exact same thing. They look really good, I don't know. Like the macros are gonna be the same in everything. I didn't know if this one, like, the, I don't know if it's actually better. true if the fancier looking one is actually gonna be any better tasting. Um, I think I'm gonna get the Tesco one. I feel like it looks good. And if I can try a different one later in the week. Look at all the candies. Oh my gosh. Throwback to 2022 when I did a UK food review. I like went to Aldi and got a bunch of desserts and candies and just had them all. Throwback, because that was crazy. Good thing I've done it once. Once you do it once, then never again. But there's some, some fun looking Candies. We did do good. We need to do a full haul when we get back. Very excited for these waters. Yeah, she's getting them too. You're getting different flavors too. What's this one? That's the summer fruit ones. Oh, okay. No, I, I got that one. I didn't get this one. Okay. Kiwi and lime. I'm excited. For real? Okay, we ended up getting $30 for all of this. Kind of good, I feel like. Or 30 pounds. Okay, I'm going to finish on my phone because my... All my SD cards are full somehow, so I need to go and delete a bunch of stuff off them. But I wanted to show you all a couple of things I got from the grocery store to kind of stay on track the next couple days and end the vlog here. But uh, main thing I got, I got some vegetables. I got some lettuce, romaine lettuce. I usually make a little salad um, with my chicken meal. I didn't get green beans, so I already fucked up, but I'll figure it out. Um, I got cucumbers raspberries a six pack of like free range eggs and i got potatoes i didn't get any rice i've actually been on a really big potato kick and i've just been like steaming potatoes in the microwave instead of um doing rice or air fryer or anything and honestly it's been a lot better for feeling full which i've been liking um i did get dark chocolate of course because i did bring cream of rice i got the sodas like I showed and the creamer like I showed, well creamer, almond milk like I showed, the waters I flavors I got. I got strawberry, watermelon, and the passion fruit. Sauces, I just got a mustard to put on my chicken that I brought with me. And then I brought, I got a smoked paprika and a salt for my potatoes. But I brought like literally with me so many freaking rice cakes. So I think honestly this will be a perfect amount of food. I might need to get some green beans, but, but yeah, I think this will be it. a really, really good amount of food because I have my cream of rice, I have rice cakes for my carbs and that little bit of potato. But um, yeah, we're going to end the vlog here. I want to show y'all. She got a lot of like fresh food sources too and stuff. So we're healthy, healthy eating over here. Um, we're going to end the vlog here. Thank y'all for watching the video. I feel like the traveling this time has been so much easier. This prep and a lot more manageable. And hopefully y'all found a couple tips to make things a little bit easier. I find that bring what you can bring and then prepare to have all your meals for that day. So that way you're able to go to the grocery store or Uber Eats your groceries or something like that. Just to make sure you stay as on track as possible. Um, on prep, it definitely gets hard because obviously like right now I'm about to go do an hour of cardio because I couldn't do it fast this morning because I have an overnight flight. Like things like that, like things do have to change, but I feel like we're rolling with the punches. So um, I'm going to have a snack and yeah, catch y'all next video.